okay similarly to reach on uh, 54.0 network you will go via 13.1.1.2 to reach on 24.0 subnet you will go via the above link which is 12.1.1.2 okay to reach on 11.0 subnet you will prefer the above link using 12.1.1.2 okay and next two networks which is directly connected to your router okay same go to router 2 configure the static routing protocol go to router 3 router 4 router 5 and everywhere on router 2 Okay, I will make a notepad over here. Okay, you guys tell me what are the networks we will configure for router two. We will configure IP IP route. Okay, twelve dot one dot one dot zero network and thirty uh, sorry twenty four network which is directly connected to your router. Okay. now what are the information you have to provide on router 2 the information 11 1.0 13.0 35.0 54.0 and 11.11.0 okay so we will put it manually ip route 1.1.0 with the subnet marks of 255255252 the next hop ip address will be this one which is your 12.1.1.1 Same IP route, eleven dot zero subnet, eleven dot eleven dot eleven dot zero. Okay, subnet marks two five five two five five two five five zero. Okay, of all, so we have to type zero because that network we have configured for slash twenty four. Okay, the next hop IP address will be twenty four dot one dot one dot two, which is configured over here from router two. If you want to reach on eleven dot zero subnet, you need to be hop on. Router for this interface. Okay. One second. One minute, okay. Okay.
next one is 13.1.1.0. IT route 13.1.1.0. Two five five two five five two five five dot two fifty two. Okay, next of IP address will be what? Twelve dot one dot one dot one. Okay, next one is IP route thirty five and fifty four. Thirty five. 35.1.0255255255.252 okay the next hop can be any if you want to send your traffic via this route okay so you can send via 12.1.1.2 if you want to send a traffic of router to via this route okay so you can use 24.1.1.2 as a next hop ip address okay so whatever it is 24.1.1.2 or 20. IP route, the remaining one is 54. 54.1.0, and the next stop IP will be 24.1.1.2. Okay, here we completed the configuration, static routing uh, configuration of router 2. This we will copy from over here and we will put on router 2. Done. Similarly, for router 3, the networks are for router 3, the networks are what are the networks for router 3? Router 3, the connected networks are 13 and 35. Okay, you have to send your packet on the router 3. Okay, the connected networks. Okay, paste over here. Okay, you have to send a network on uh, packet on the 1.1.0 using what? 13.1.1.1. Okay, to reach on 11.0 subnet, okay, you have to send a packet via 35.1.1.2. 35.1.1.2. To reach on 13.0 subnet, 13 is not there. Okay, for 13, we will use what? 12.1.1.1 uh, subnet. The next hop IP address will be to reach on 12.1.1.0 subnet. The next hop IP will be 13.1.1.1. Okay, 35, 35, which is directly connected, we will use what? 24. To reach on 24.0 subnet, the next hop IP will be what? Uh, 34.0 subnet, sorry, 24.0 subnet. Next hop IP will be what? 35.1.1.35.1.1.35.1.1.2. Very good. To region 54.0 subnet, the next hop IP will be same. 34. Are you guys understanding this concept? Or am I going very fast? Yes, you guys are able to understand the concept or am I going very fast? It's okay, sir. It's okay? Yes, sir. Good to hear it. For router 3, you copy this configuration and paste on it. Router 3, paste this configuration. Done. For router 4 and router 5 is remaining now. Router 4 and router 5. For router 4, three networks are directly connected. Router 5. First, we will do router 5. Then 2, router 5. Router 5. For router 5, 1.1.0 is this uh, directly, uh, sorry, 1.1.1.0 is the destination network. To reach on that, it will use 
it will use 35.1.1.1 okay 35.1.1.1 to reach on 11.0 subnet router 5 will use 54.1.1.1 54.1.1.2 to reach on 12.0 subnet it will use uh, for example it will use it will go via this route so 35.1.1 35.1.1.1 okay to reach on 24.0 subnet outer 5 will use uh, 54.1.1.2 54.1.1.2 to reach on 54.0 subnet, which is directly connected to it. Okay, which is what is the remaining one? 13, I think, remaining. Yeah. 13 is the remaining one. To reach on 13.0 subnet, it will use 35.1.1. Am I right? Yes. Go to route 5. 35.1.1.1.2 is not this national duty. 35.1.1.1. Right. Yeah, 35.1.1.1.2. Now, router 4. Router 4 again having three different connected networks. Only four networks needs to be advertised. Okay, which is 35, 12, 13, and 1.0. Outer. If you want one dot zero submit, okay, to reach and one dot zero submit, the outer four will use this part twenty four. Twenty four dot one dot one dot one. Okay. To reach on eleven dot zero submit, which is directly connected. Okay, so we will remove this entry from here. To reach on 11, 12.1.0 submit again, same 24.1.1.1. Okay, to reach on 13.0 submit, uh, sorry, 24, 24, which is directly connected to it, so it will use 35 to reach on 35.0 submit 54.1.1.2 to reach on 24, same 54.1, not same 54.1. To reach on 13.0 submit, similarly 54.1.1.1. Okay. Copy it and paste on router 4. Now, what do you guys think? Uh, 54.1.1.1. Oh, to reach on 11.0 submit, 11, which is directly connected. What do we have made a mistake? Uh, I remove this. Okay, no mistake. Okay, wait. Oh. <laughs> we have given eleven dollar zero submit thirty five dollar one thousand dollar one two five. 35 or oh, not 35. That will be And then three, four, five, six, six networks. Why so six networks? Mm. 
which one is missing uh which one is missing 1.11 12 13 54 35 is missing 35 uh 12 24 13 1.0 and 3 4 5 4 12 13 24 by the quantity 24 and for this should be 35 35 will go via 24.1.1.1. No. Mm. 34.1.1.1. Mm. all the networks are there are we able to ping end to end if you will check from router 1 are router 1 able to reach 11.11.11 yes it is able to reach the destination network 11.11.11 you want to see Why are which route they are reaching it? So use a command trace route eleven dot eleven dot eleven dot eleven. Memory command is working. Yeah. Okay. The first hop is on twelve dot one dot one dot two. The second hop is on twenty four dot one dot one dot two. Twelve dot one dot one dot two means what? Router one is hopping on twelve. That is router two. From router two, they are hopping on router four. That is twenty four dot one dot one dot one. Okay. Similarly, if you want to see ping uh, or trace, trace what? Fifty-four dot one dot one dot two. Fifty-four dot one dot one dot two. Memory. Fifty-four dot one dot one dot one dot two. Hmm. Troubleshooting. No. No. Thirteen dot thirty-five dot fifty-four. Numeric, sir. What? 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 Numeric tracing. Why are you using numeric tracing? Numeric tracing will uh, uh, resume your time, like okay. They will short your time. They are not going to look for the DNS IP address and everything. Okay, it will just trace it. Simple trace. Okay, you can do like this also, but it will take some time. It will take a very long time. To get out the data. This also works in our PC also. Not on PC. On PC, you are using tracer command. There is no trace route command. Right. This is right. a tracer command. Okay. With the tracer, this is not working. In Windows, this command is not uh, acceptable. On Cisco router, this command is acceptable. Got it. Okay, so this is what your static routing protocol. Uh, one more thing, sir. Ah. Uh, I was doing lab in uh, Cisco packet tracer. I can uh, see more letter is there L locally connected, but I cannot see here. What local? Ha. Huh? That is the feature of the advanced router which are coming nowadays. Okay, not with all the iOS. Okay, not with all the iOS. You will see those. Uh, In only the advanced iOS only the local local L L also, but this router and this iOS does not support that L. Before it was not there. Okay. That is only with the updated routers and updated iOS only. Okay. 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 Hmm. Not with every router. You check on any other router, you won't be able to see. Similarly, like this only. L is nothing that is the locally connected interface, local connected interface IP. Okay, now in this same topology, we will do uh, rip routing also. Okay, you guys know what is the command to configure the rip? Uh, 
and in rib what do you have to configure you guys know what are the commands and if you want to remove the static routing protocol from the routers so what do you have to use just say show ip show run pipe include ip route what are the commands we have put we will add what no before that to remove what we will do we will add no to remove the static route if you want to remove any route what do you have to say no and so on done okay similarly go to router 2 and say so run pipe include ip route okay they will give you this output copy it and paste and say what no to remove the static routing Go to router three. To run pipe include IP now. Route three, we have done. Route five, route four is running. So run.
Okay, so we have removed the static routing protocol from the topology. Okay, now we will run the rerouting protocol. Okay, what are the commands to run the rerouting protocol? Yesterday I showed you. Okay, the command is what? Router rip. Okay, then you can define the version. Version can be any one or two. Okay, then you have to say no auto summary. Okay, then you have to define your own connected networks. For example, on router one, what are the own connected network? One is one dot one dot one dot zero. Okay, second one is network twelve dot one dot one dot zero. The directly connected network, the network which is thirteen dot one dot one dot zero. As compared to static rip routing a protocol or any dynamic routing a protocol is very easy to configure. Okay, but very hard to understand. Go on router one. Okay, on router one. Uh, what command? Version one. Do we see first the version one? Okay, router rip. Okay, version one. Okay, and we will just send this information. That's it. Okay. Now go to router two. Router two is having a directly connected networks of directly connected. Router two is having a directly connected network of twenty four dot one dot one dot zero. Okay, and next one is twelve. Okay, only two network on router two. Router three or router four? Let's see. Router four. Router four is having eleven dot eleven dot eleven dot zero. Okay. Next one is twenty four one dot zero, and next one is fifty four. Which one it is? Router four. Then go to other router. Router three. Router three is having ah thirteen dot one dot one dot zero, and the next one is thirty five. One is uh, on router five. On router five, the networks are fifty-four dot one dot one dot zero, and the next one is thirty-five only, thirty-five dot one dot zero. Copy. Go to router five. Paste it. Then the router which is remaining now. I think all the routers are there. So I think out. So I think out. All the networks are there. See now what they are saying is slash eight, slash eight, slash eight. One twenty is the administrative distance, and the next column is for your hop count, metric of column, and the metric is a uh, hop count, and the hop count for some network for fifty four dot zero network the hop count is Two, okay, for one dot zero subnet. Ah, uh, sorry, ah, uh, one one dot connected one. Thirty five dot zero. The next stop IP address is ah uh, twelve thirteen dot one dot one dot two. One twenty is the administrative distance, and one is the hop count. Okay, you are on router one. From router one, if you will check for eleven dot zero subnet, eleven dot zero subnet. Router one, check for eleven dot zero subnet. 
see 11.0 subnet which we configured it for a slash 24 subnet slash 24 but it is advertising as a 8 the default one why because this is the default behavior of your uh, class 4 routing protocol if you want you can ping and check it 11.11.11.11 all working okay but in your routing table you can see this is only slash 8 network it will come with a slash 8 network why because while advertising the network with your neighbor router they did not they did not advertise any subnet marks so what router one did router one added the default subnet marks the default subnet marks for 11.0 network is slash 8 okay instead of router uh, version 1 if you have router 8 and you will say what version 2 to run five section with okay now it is on version 2 so you have to do it same on every router version 2 version 2 version 2 version 2 to IP route this will take some time on this The reprouting protocol before flushing any information, it will keep in its routing table up to 240 seconds. After 240 seconds only, they will flush the routing table information if it get any new feed, uh, new network information. Just wait for some time. And then we will see the results. What are the results we are getting using a version two?
Oh, 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 oh. Okay, guys, we have missed one command over here. Okay, of all uh, uh, router with, and we have to say what? No auto summary also. No auto summary. Why? Because by default, they will do an auto summarization. It will use that command. Router with, and say no auto summary. Router with, I say no auto summary. No auto summary. Router with, I say no auto summary. This one is done. This one is done. This one is done. No auto summary. They started getting the routes. <clears throat> See, now the networks are coming with the slash 30 subjects. Getting my points. 11.0 with the slash 24. This is what the difference between the heap version 1 and version 2. Auto summarization. Auto summarization and manual summarization. Whenever you do uh, auto summarization, Okay, whenever you do an auto summarization, okay, so that will always come with a slash A. Okay, and whenever you stop auto summarization using a command no auto summary, it will come with whatever subnet you have advertised. Okay, hope you will see or we will join on Monday. Thanks, everyone. Actually, I am a little bit busy today with some work okay that is why i am not 100 percent today sorry for that sir if we are changing the version from uh, between the router uh, yeah continue hello sir if we change the version uh, between the routers they will communicate or not between the they will communicate they will communicate huh? If you are using version 1 on router 1 and version 2 on router 2, configure and see. They will communicate. Configure on your laptop with a PC, okay, and see. They will communicate. Okay. Okay.
थैंक यू एवरीवन